This guide is essentially mostly only going over Siladex items. Anything having to do with quests, exiles, biomes, etc. are likely going to be covered in a later video. To start, you need to download a few things. TGPT Toolchain, Steam Workshop Uploader, an empty LDB file, and optionally the art base, made by Hatsune Zaku. All of these can be found in the description below. Now, open up the Steam Workshop Uploader. The first thing is to change the file called Steam App ID to the ID of the Genesis project. Then, run the program. On the bottom left, enter the name of the mod you want to make and press Create Item. You shouldn't worry about anything else with this program just yet, so close it out and enter the Workshop Content folder. There you will see a new folder with the name of your mod. This is where we will put all the content for your mod. Now you will make two folders, Custom Items and Item Mods. Take the empty LDB file you downloaded and place it in the Item Mods folder. Rename this LDB file to the name of your mod. Now it's time to make some art assets. First, keep in mind that the size of the image you make is the same size the item will be in the game, so you should use the art pack provided as reference. In custom items, you will need to make a folder with the item you are making, and then an image next to it with the same name. The image in the base will be the icon used in the Siladex card, while the image in the folder is how the item will appear in the actual game. For standard items, these will likely be the same. But for weapons, the in-game sprite image needs to be centered on where the handle of the weapon is. And for ranged weapons, you should make two images, one named 0 for the weapon itself and another named 1 for the projectile. As for more complicated things, such as clothing, those tend to be much more involved, needing sprites for every position. I would check out Rachel's guide on Steam for that. Just know that the art pack by Hatsune Zaku already has the poses and the frames they relate to numbered. Now open up the executable in TGP Toolchain. Set the path for Genesis Project on Steam. If you need help, right click the game, go to Manage, Browse Local Files. Then click Specify Custom Database and navigate to where you have your own LDB file and open it. Now it's time to start adding the items you have created. Press Create Item and a pop-up window will open up. This is where you can add various tags, aliases, and more. Fill in the item code, name, description, and the grist and attack speed values to whatever you like. For most items, enter in item object for the prefab. If it's a poster, it should be rolled poster. For strife kind, Enter in the type of weapon it is, or what clothing slot it goes into. You can leave it blank if it's just a regular object. Prototyping should also be left blank. Uh, it's a bit of a more complicated subject which isn't covered in this video. Add all the items you have, and then it's time for recipes. If you actually want to follow the specifics of how alchemy recipes work, you should probably just go read Homestuck. The basics are that you enter two codes, and then one of the two ways to combine those codes. You can create a recipe between an item and a tag, alias or strife kind, but it's a good idea to make recipes as specific as possible to prevent conflict with other mods. Optionally, if you want your item to appear in the Athenium, make a text file with the name Athenium in the base of your mod folder and add all of the item codes from your mod with each one on a separate line. Now it's time to publish. Open up Steam Workshop Uploader again and set the thumbnail, workshop name, description, and visibility. Now just hit submit and you can go see the mod on the Steam Workshop under files you've posted. And that should be it. Go out and make your own items.